Nobody really expects electric cars to be very fast. But by nature, electric cars can accelerate and get from 0 to 60 much faster and easier compared to most gas-powered vehicles. If you ever wondered which electric cars are coming soon to beat Tesla Model S Plaid's speed record, here are all of them. Faraday Future FF91 Faraday's first production car and flagship model is the FF91. It epitomizes the newest mobility innovations in performance, intelligence, and user experience by being all-electric, autonomy-ready, and seamlessly linked. For this reason, Faraday gave the FF91 a futuristic look that makes it stand out from the crowd. The FF91's specs haven't changed since it was unveiled way back in 2017. A total of 1,050 horsepower is provided by three electric motors, two in the back and one in the front. The crossover, which is 206.9 inches long and hence slightly shorter than a Mercedes-Benz S-Class for 2022, will have a 0 to 60 mph pace in under 2.4 seconds, according to Faraday Future. Faraday Future claims a 378-mile range on the EPA test cycle with a 130 kilowatt hour battery pack. The FF91 is estimated to cost six figures if it goes into production by the end of the year, placing it in direct rivalry with the Tesla Model X and Lucid Motors Air. The top of the line FF91 Futurist Alliance model will cost more than $200,000 and will be restricted to 300 units only. Polestar 5. Polestar's eye-catching precept concept car will now proceed into production and the Polestar 5 will go on sale in 2024, according to the company. It is anticipated that the Polestar 5 will be an entirely new car for the company based on the outstanding precept concept. Similar to the smaller Polestar 2, the Polestar 5 is intended to be powered by two electric motors, one mounted up front and the other mounted at the rear. The Polestar 2 produced a combined 402 horsepower on a test track and was able to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 4.1 seconds. And so, the Polestar 5 is expected to perform even better. This will be an additional competition for the Taycan and Model S performance models from the 5, which is likely to have a higher horsepower rating and be somewhat quicker than the 2. There hasn't been any news on how much the car will cost yet. However, electric powertrains and lavish interiors are not exactly inexpensive these days. When these two elements are taken into account, the starting price in the six-figure area is much more likely. Lotus Elettra There are only a few electric cars that may compete with this electric supercar. A 900-horsepower Lotus Elettra will be for sale in a few years, making the 600-horsepower Elettra the entry-level model of Lotus's SUV. Adding a second 300-horsepower electric motor to the back axle of the top-of-the-line Elettra will further reduce the 60-mile-per-hour sprint time to under 3 seconds. Lotus claims that even the least-powered Elettra will feature all-wheel drive and at least 600-horsepower, but will have to wait for more information. The battery pack's precise capacity is being kept under wraps by the corporation, indicating that it would feature more than 100 kilowatt hours of storage. Lotus promises that it will reach 62 miles per hour in under three seconds and reach a peak speed of 161 miles per hour. Lotus claims that the Elettra's battery can be recharged to two thirds in 20 minutes using a 350 kilowatt fast charger giving it a range of 373 miles under the European WLTP testing standard, which is equivalent to 315 miles under the EPA's methodology. Elettra's pricing hasn't been revealed yet, but it's expected to start at roughly $120,000 when it arrives in the United States in 2024. Dodge Challenger in Muscle Expected to be out by 2024, the all-new Dodge Challenger in Muscle is a clear sign that electric vehicles are taking over. Electrifying one of the most powerful muscle cars is a major endeavor, but it pays off handsomely in terms of performance. The Challenger e-Muscle is expected to be built 
on Stellantis's big electric vehicle chassis, which is supposed to have a range of up to 500 miles. Although the E-Muscle's powertrain has yet to be officially announced by Dodge, a teaser video shows the car performing a four-wheel burnout, which strongly suggests an all-wheel drive. However, there is no denying that ratcheting up the performance to Hellcat levels would reduce the range. Although we haven't seen the entire car yet, teaser photographs show stylistic cues that obviously pay homage to old Challenger and Charger models, as well as the reintroduction of the Fratsock emblem, which was previously used on Dodge vehicles from the 1960s and 1970s. The E-Muscle is expected to cost more than a gasoline-powered Challenger, but this is only an estimate because Dodge hasn't revealed any pricing information yet. That's why the base model is expected to cost approximately $50,000. Genesis Essentia Hyundai's premium division, Genesis, stated in 2018 that they had been working on a concept car ahead of the International Auto Show. The outcome was Essentia. The amazement and atmosphere around the concept car, which was publicly presented the same year, fueled rumors that the corporation might seek a limited number production. Lux Donkerwolke, the head of Genesis Design and a former Volkswagen designer, developed the Essentia concept car, which is an all-electric concept vehicle. Everything about the car was designed to bring the owner closer to the realm of luxury and the elegance of the automobile. Many details remain a mystery due to the fact that it is a concept automobile. Only the high-density batteries and the many electric motors have been mentioned thus far, although Genesis promises a theoretical 0-60 to mph time of 3 seconds. Speculation about the base pricing is likewise absent, although we won't be surprised if it goes for a price way above the six-figure valuation when it actually goes on sale. Tesla Roadster Tesla's first-ever electric vehicle, the original Roadster, was essential in establishing the company's reputation, even if most of the company's current consumers are unaware of it. The all-new model was meant to come in 2021, but it hasn't arrived yet, leading us to believe it has been postponed until further notice. Elon Musk stated that the new Tesla Roadster supercar could accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 1.9 seconds, reach a top speed of more than 220 miles per hour, and finish the quarter mile in 8.8 .8 seconds after he introduced the vehicle back in November of 2017. According to these figures, if the Roadster's top speed of 60 miles per hour remains constant, it will be a full second faster than its major competitor, the gasoline powered McLaren 570S. Despite the fact that the 200 kWh battery is claimed to have a range of up to 620 miles, a few laps around the racetrack will almost certainly considerably diminish that statistic. As reported by Tesla, the regular Roadster will cost over $200,000, with the Founders series totaling over $250,000. NEO EP9 while NEO's first vehicle, the EP9, or Electric Prototype 9, was never intended to be driven on public roads, unlike the ES8, ED7, and ES6, NEO's second automobile, the ES6, was. Several racing tracks around the world have witnessed this electric supercar setting new marks for the fastest lap times ever recorded by an electric vehicle. The EP9 is built entirely of carbon fiber, both inside and out, and the inside is no different from the exterior and chassis. In certain cases, the side batteries of this electric racing vehicle may be swapped out in as little as 8 minutes. However, while the chemistry of EP9's lithium-ion battery is being kept under wraps, it's said to contain a liquid-cooled 100 kWh lithium-ion pack that's separate from the Williams F1 supplied stack that powers all Formula E vehicles. Each EP9 costs a total of $1.2 million to produce. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out these videos shown on your screen right now.